สวัสดีครับ and welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Today is Tuesday, December 3rd. I'm Chris Housen filling in for JP Mustanza, who will be returning next week. Here's the news that matters to you. Flooding has been reported in 11 of the 13 districts of the southern border province of Naratiwat, affecting about 30,000 people in 209 villages. The floods have been caused by torrential rain and overflow from the two main rivers flowing through the province. People from the evacuated communities are being accommodated at a series of schools and police stations. Officials are continuing to move flood victims to safe ground while also distributing food, drinking water, and other necessities. A health study conducted by j u a l a l u n g k o r n University has led to the decision to ban soda from 437 schools in Bangkok. The study found that the number of type 2 diabetes cases among Thai children and adolescents aged 10 to 19 has risen by 27% over the past 10 years. Municipal authorities and health officials have been ordered to inspect the quality of food served on school premises, and teachers have been asked to incorporate more physical activities into their curriculum to combat these statistics. A network of advocates for the ban on three toxic farm chemicals is threatening to file a lawsuit against the industry minister over a decision by the National Hazardous Substances Committee to scrap it after approving the ban only a month earlier. The group said the reversal of the ban on the herbicide and the delay in prohibition against the pesticides was illegal. The secondary general of the Foundation for Consumers said the network will file a class action lawsuit against the NHSC on behalf of 110 victims of the three farm chemicals this month. More Phuket Extra coming up right after this short break. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The Education Ministry has moved to ban teachers with debts exceeding half of their salaries from assuming executive positions. Under the government's new regulations, teachers with debts which exceed half of their salaries will be barred from serving as director and/or deputy director of state schools, as well as director of regional education service area offices. The education minister, commenting on the move, said that high-ranking officials must be financially responsible, adding that the ideal school executive must be proficient in languages and technology literate as well. And over 500,000 items of suspected fake news have been spread on social media over the past month, with the elderly found to be the biggest culprits. That is all in the findings from Thailand's new anti-fake news center. The Digital Economy and Society Minister says the anti-fake news center has detected some half a million items of possible fake news and sent them to the relevant agencies for fact-checking. According to the minister, people aged 60 and over were found to be the greatest source of inaccurate information online, which they mainly spread out of concern for those close to them. The anti-fake news center, which was formally launched on November the 1st, was created with the intention to speed up detection of the spread of misinformation and is also looking into the misuse of social media platforms to exploit and deceive people. And that's all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Be sure to check out thephuketnews.com to read more on all of these stories. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thanks for watching and have a great evening.